What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to give you 5 reasons to use SAS over CSS. Alright, let's start with the reason number 1 using SAS variables. In here, in this code editor, I'm going to put in here at the top. So just going to show you quickly, I have in here 4 divs and you can see them in here how they look like and I have a regular CSS styling in here. You can see that div number one, two and three, all of them, they have the color blue. Let's say that now I want to change these colors in here to be something else, something different. Uh, for example, I want this color now to be orange. I would have to go in here and use orange, orange and orange. I need to change the, the, the color three times. Imagine that if this was like 10. You would have to change this like 10 times. So with SAS variables, you can go in here at the top and start your variable name with a dollar sign. And then whatever name you want, I'm just putting it color, but could be anything else. And I'm going to put in here, for example, uh, I'm going to give it yellow. Okay. And now I just have to pass this color in here. Look, I'm going to run this. And all my divs now, they have a background color of yellow. If I want to change this now, for example, for red, I just need to change it one time. Red in here at the top. Run and all of them are red. Let's say I want to be royal. Royal, oops. Royal blue. Run and they are all royal blue. All right, the second reason is using nested elements in here. So, for example, before you could see that uh, um, using normal CSS, you could, for example, target this paragraph in here, something like this. Uh, test one, and then paragraph, and then you could put something like, uh, let's say the color to be uh, yellow, okay? I'm gonna run this, and now you can see that the, the paragraph inside of the first div with the test one is getting a color of yellow. But with SAS, you can actually put something like this. Look, nested elements. So in here now, you can actually save a lot more space and you can see how things are, are much more nicely styled. Look at this. You know that the parent is test one and now you have a children inside paragraph and you can also put in here for example the span now all of this stuff is going to be inside of this parent and none of the other ones are affected i'm going to put this one for example the background color to be uh, red i'm going to run this look this is amazing and you can nest things inside of other things and this way you always know, this is always useful, for example, if you want to target a section of a page, you can put in here the parent and inside all the children that inside of the, a div or something like that. All right, reason number three is using color functions. So if I'm going in here, for example, at the top, we have this color royal blue and in here we have a background color and color, okay? but we could use color functions. So a color function, you can, for example, do lighten or darken a color. So for example, I'm gonna put in here lighten and I'm gonna put in here this color that I want to lighten. So it's gonna be the color and I want to say how much lighter you, I want it to be. For example, let's say 20%. I'm going to run this and look now this color is 20% lighter than the other ones look. So this is one of the functions that is another one for example that is darken. You can put a darken, a darker version of a color let's say 20% as well. I'm going to run it and here it is 20% darker. Alright, reason number four is using mixins. So mixins, they are kind of functions that you can use to reuse your code many times without repeating yourself. I'm going to show you an example in here. I'm going to put in here, for example, at mixin, 
and then I'm gonna put the name of the mixing that I want to put. For example, I'm gonna put it border and uh, I want this to have the border inside to be, um, let's say, uh, I'm gonna put border color and inside of here I'm gonna put uh, uh, border uh no uh, yeah i'm i'm gonna put this for example yeah that's fine border i want two pixels solid and then i'm gonna put the border color in here okay i'm gonna put this one and now i can put this one for example the borders around any other place that i want all right to make it work we just have to go in here at include and we are going to put the name in here so we have border and let's put the color that we have in here at the top okay i'm going to put this border and run and there it is now we have this border i could put this one for example in the other ones as well so you can see uh now for example i could put uh, color color 2 i'm going to put it yellow Okay, so in here, now on the test 2, I can just put at include border. So I don't have to write all these all the time. So I can just go in here and put at include border. And I'm going to put, for example, color 2. Run. And now this one in here has a border of 2 pixels, solid yellow. Uh, I could put even now, for example, 4 pixels. Run. Look at this. And this is amazing how you can do things with mixins. Finally, the fifth advantage of using SAS is using Extend Feature. So the Extend Feature, let me just give you an example in here. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this stuff. Let me just run this, make sure that this, this is fine. I'm going to get rid of this include and this other include run. And for example, in here on my paragraph of the test one, I could give it, for example, a font size of um, let's say 30 pixels and i'm gonna oops this is wrong font size 30 pixels and i'm gonna give it a font style of uh, italic okay let's run look at this this is how the paragraph looks like and i'm gonna give it a background color of orange Okay, let's refresh this. Oops, something is wrong. Color. Refresh and run and here it is. Now, we can use the extend, for example, to pass it to this new span. So, I'm just going to put it in here, a class of my paragraph, which is already in here. So, I can put this and replace it, my paragraph. And in this span, I can put now at extend. And I can put the class, this one, my paragraph. So if I run, look at this. Now, uh, let me just comment this out for a second. Now, all of this stuff in here span is having the same styles as this paragraph. But we can now, for example, overwrite something in here. I can give it a background color of red. Now is with a background color of red but also all the other styles from this paragraph so it's basically extending that class all right guys so that's it for today's video the five reasons to use sas over css i hope you like this video if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video